Hi there, 50 friends. Welcome back to Abby Thrifts. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Abby and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And what you just saw was me making my first cup of coffee with my new coffee machine that I got for my birthday about a month ago. My parents gifted it to me and I haven't had the opportunity to use it because things have been so busy lately. So today was the first day that I just, you know, turned it on. I was like, I'm using it today and I haven't used it before because I was scared to use it and I didn't want to ruin it while I was rushing to work. So just wanted to take a day to chill and just get the full effect of it. So that is what I did. And that is why I made it in front of you. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little thing. But today I'm super excited. Just wanted to show you guys how to clean a Duty and Burke bag. And actually, not really how to clean one, but just you're gonna clean it with me. So I found this adorable Duty and Burke bag at the Goodwill bins about two weeks ago. And I got it in a lot of like 13 items. So I went there, had an hour to thrift, found 13 things, spent $2.26. I will link that video below. And yeah, so it was like the best thrift trip ever because I spent like literally nothing. So this purse ended up being like 17 cents. And yeah, as you can tell, this purse has definitely seen better days. So what I wanted to do today was just clean it up so I could list it and sell it. And I don't even know if it's possible to clean this. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is just take some soap to it and some water and I'm gonna have you guys join me while I do it But yeah, I just wanted to clean it and so maybe if you're in a similar situation You found a cloth bag and you want to clean it. Maybe this will help you uh, Figure out how to clean it or you know if you find one in the future Then you can remember this video and be like yeah, Abby tried it and it didn't work So I'm not gonna pick up that bag, but yeah, so I just I could have left it there because in my last video I also found a fossil bag that was pretty dirty and I just left it there. But I just, Dooney and Burke is in now so I just figured I would pick it up and try it out. And if it doesn't work, if I just totally mess it up then I'm, you know, I'll either redonate it or keep it for myself or something. But I have a feeling that I'll be able to clean this and that someone is really gonna want it and want to add it to their collection. So that is what I'm doing today. So super excited for you guys to join me. And uh, yeah, let's get on, on to it. Hello world, welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> I hope you're ready to help me clean this beautiful Dooney and Burke bag. Uh, I don't know about you, but I am super excited to get this cleaned and I'm really excited to see the final product. So in front of me today, I have my beautiful mixing bowl. I normally keep this in the kitchen because, you know, doing some mixing and stuff in there, but I need something to keep all the uh, warm water and soap in, so I brought that in here. I have some Dawn soap because the internet says that Dawn soap is perfect for cleaning stuff like this. You could use that or detergent or baby soap, and it all has to be like mild type of soap, not like heavy soap. So this is what I had around, so I'm going to use some Dawn soap. And I also had a sponge and I thought this would be perfect for cleaning it instead of using like a rag or something. So yeah, have all my supplies here. I'm gonna fill this up with warm water and show you guys how I'm gonna clean it. And hopefully I can get some of the stains out of this and make this look a little more, uh, I don't know. I think, I think we can bring the life back to this. So I'm really excited and let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, so update. Um, this is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I think I've cleaned a good amount of it. This entire purse is completely damp right now, inside and out. And I'm pretty sure there's definitely soap stuck in here. So I think I'm gonna go over it with some uh, clean water without soap and then let it dry. And I think from there, I gave it the best college try that I could. And we're gonna see what it looks like when it's completely dry. What's going on gang? Well, it truly felt like an eternity. It only took five days for this purse to dry. So I completely washed it and then let it sit in my bathroom for five days on a towel and just let it completely air dry. Um, one thing I will say that I did that I noticed about the bag when I found it, it was extremely deformed. And so when I had it drying, I put a couple towels in it and just kind of made it the shape of the bag of what it's supposed to be. And it came out pretty okay. When I look at uh, the videos of uh, the bag and how it looked at the beginning, I was like, okay, you know, um, it doesn't look that bad. And then uh, now after it's dry, I am super excited that it looks like this. But uh, first thoughts, I am extremely surprised at how well this turned out. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. So the videos that you saw of me cleaning, yes, I did clean it that way. And I kind of got tired of of doing it that way, I guess. I just felt like I was kind of like smudging around the dirt. And so uh, last minute I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna run this under hot water and see what happens. And to be honest with you, I am so glad that I did that because the moment that I ran it under hot water, all of this like brown stuff, just brown water came like flushing out of the purse. And uh, yeah, so I just kept rinsing it, rinsing it, and the water like turned more brown by the second. So I was really happy that I did that <laughs> because I was like, wow, that is really gross. So maybe the sponge and soap technique is if you've had the purse for a little while and you just wanted to clean it. But yeah, that was something I had to learn the hard way was that I should have probably done that to begin with and not just, you know, smudged around the dirt and stuff. Um, I kind of wish I knew the background of this purse, like if this, you know, has been around for like 30 plus years or something. Um, if so, that kind of explains the dirt that was trapped inside of the bag. Again, I'm very happy with the result. As you can see, this is much, much cleaner than it was at the very beginning. So this was, I'm guessing originally, that's what I'm looking at now, it's like a cream tan color. And you can tell that the bag just looks so much better so much better than it did before. There's still that little dot there, but yeah, the bag looks so much better. The only thing I'm a little disappointed in with the bag, and I think it's something that I did. So with the cleaning, you can tell on here that right near the zipper, you have some brown stains kind of like right along here, as well as the other side right along here. And so either that was something I did not touch when I was cleaning the bag, or it was something, you know, that I missed, or that stain is just gonna be there forever. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see, but my plan for this bag is to wash it one more time. I know that's gonna take another eternity, but I really want this to go to a good home and I want someone to really enjoy this. I mean, this part is just so cute. You got Dooney and Burke on the back. The inside was a little difficult to clean, not gonna lie. Let me show you. It looks a lot better than it did. It looks just like a lighter pink um, and there's less staining on the inside, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so this was a really fun project and I'm super excited that I had you guys along with me to kind of you know, help me through it and, and just kind of learn along with me. I have not done this before, so this was um, kind of a great first purse cleaning project. And now I know in the future, if I find something like this at the bins, then I'm just gonna go straight to the bathtub and the warm water and the soap. And yeah, that that's kind of my plan. But again, so I'm probably going to clean this again. I'm just gonna run it under warm water and uh, put some soap on it and go from there. Um, but I'm, I'm not gonna take you guys with me to do that because I feel like if I just keep going back and forth then this is gonna be like a million years and a million eternities and I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and show you the final product of what it took for me 
to kind of wash it um you know it's just one wash so thank you guys so much for watching today hoping once i get this completely clean that i'm going to put this on my poshmark page um i know someone's going to want it and if that is you out there let me know i don't know how much i'm going to list it for yet but um i'm just really excited that this isn't going to the landfill so Anyways, guys, if you liked my video today, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment as well. I really love those. But thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.